Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Godsborn. Today we are going to be doing a very in-depth guide on how to do the chemical step for the attack of the radioactive thing Easter egg. So starting off, if you haven't caught up to where we are, make sure you have everything that we've done. A link in the description to the entire playlist. But what you want to do is go into Elvira's room. And you'll notice on the top in this little window here, there is an equation. And an eyeball equals M plus a little circle. And to get this equation solved, the first thing you want to do is go into this little pool house and you'll notice on the top left of the room is your M symbol. It's different every single game. So that will be your M. So mine was 20. So what you want to do after that is you want to go around the map to four specific locations and you'll notice the little circle symbol. One of them is on the bridge. You'll see there it says circle equals two. There's another location here. This one says circle equals eight. Basically there are four of these and only one of them is right. So the next location is going to be in the safe and this one says circle equals 11 and then the last one is going to be in this trailer that you can teleport to from the pack-a-punch area. So how you find out which one is the right one is a little bit tricky. What you want to do is you want to go into Elvira's room and you want to switch to a specific color. Any color will work but only one of these will show itself as false per color. So like for example what you want to do is, is switch to red and then you want to check every symbol and if it says circle is not equal to 11 then that is completely eliminated you never have to check that one again because that number at the end will never be the number that you're going for so after you have found the incorrect symbol what you want to do is switch colors again and then you want to go around the map and then find the incorrect one for a second time and you guys will notice that my second one is going to be in this trailer. You can actually jump from the left right here and you can see in there a little bit better if you jump right here. But what you want to do is just continuously look around, switch colors until you have found all of the incorrect numbers. And then the one that is remaining is going to be the circle number that we need for the equation itself. So as we were looking at this earlier, my M was 20 and then my circle is going to be whatever number is your remaining number so as you guys can see here minus two this is my last one i'm in blue and i've already eliminated all of the other numbers so my circle number is going to be two and my m is 20. and if you looked up at the equation you get the eyeball by multiplying your m by your circle so mine's going to be 20 times two so my eyeball number is going to be 40 and if you look on the tv over here you'll notice that there are three different colors that there can be depending on your number. So my number is 40. So there's a greater than, a less than, or there's like a median. And so mine is not greater than 43, but it is less than 41. So you'll know that yours, depending on your number, is going to be a specific color for me mine is red according to the tv so what you want to do is later on just keep that in mind the red is going to be the color that you will need for a later step down the road this will be very important later on but just keep in mind the color that you will need for the later step of this easter egg so another prerequisite that we're going to need to do is come in to the color changing and switch to either red or blue or even green it's completely random depending on the game and you're gonna want to go towards the garage. On the equation on the back wall, if you guys come in here, depending on the color, it's going to be either the left or the right E will be lit up, and then it'll be those diamonds that you see on all of the charts around the map. The second little E is lit up in the blue area on the left, so you're gonna wanna remember this, so that your second number is going to be blue, and then the first number that you're gonna need for later on is going to be the top of the diamond, which is the red diamond. So that will be for when we're mixing chemicals. Just keep that in mind. I'll explain that a little bit more in depth in a little bit. But what we need to do after this is we need to go pick up all of the parts for the bomb. The first one is located right outside of Elvira's room, right next to the racing stripe machine, right behind that gate that I just picked up over there. The second little piece for the bomb is going to be under this car right here. Just hold square to pick it up. And then the third and the final piece that we're going to need for the bomb is going to be right down the creek, down the stream, under the bridge right over here we will need these and then if you bring them back over to the bomb you can hold square to place them like so and then we're going to be able to move on so just head on into here and then hold square and you can place these parts on the bomb also while we're in here just to wrap up a couple more of the prerequisites before we begin the in-depth parts of this is there is a little piece of paper in this back left corner that you want to hold square on to pick up it's part of the spell book we will need that later on as well 
But after you have that, we will be moving on to the harder parts of this Easter egg. So what you want to do now is kill the zombies with backpacks until you find a battery. There's going to be a radio that we will need to be putting the battery into next to power. And there is going to be a doctor that tells you three wrong things that involve the chemicals and then there's one correct one no it's the correct one where he says this is the chemical we need to defeat the radioactive thing so i'm gonna let you guys listen to what it sounds like if he tells you a chemical that is wrong right here i don't think the creation of 24 propane 35 tetranitrites will effectively do the job required and then i'm also going to play this is the quote if you get the right chemical and then you need to remember that chemical because we will be building it very shortly State of events have convinced me that 3,4-dinitroxymethylpropane is our best chance to defeat the radioactive thing. So in mine, I need 3,4-dinitroxymethylpropane to defeat the radioactive thing. For you, it's going to be completely different. There are a couple different combinations that this can be. And here is a chart of all of the combinations that you could get. So the ones on the left are the final mixture that you're going to need to make. And the one on the right, the ingredients are everything that you need to make that exact chemical. So for me, I need a 3,4-dinoctroxy, whatever that is. And to make that, I need the aldehyde sludge. So for the aldehyde sludge, you guys will see here, you need formaldehyde. And for that, it's just there's so many ingredients that you need to put into it. So it is a long journey. But here are all of the chemicals that you can make. These are all of the side chemicals that you will need for this. The first picture that I showed is the end ingredient. Just follow that. Go to the end ingredient that you need from the radio. And then from there, just make all of these side ones until you can finally make these end ones again right here that I'm showing on the screen right now. So again, for me, I need the dinoctroxy. And to make that, I need the aldehyde sludge. But then you need the formaldehyde. And you need just a whole bunch of other things to make these. So for these ingredients if you guys don't know where any of them are here is a chart of every location for like the detergent all of the things that you can find on the map after that you're just going to need to mix them following these charts and i'm going to show you guys gameplay of that right here so before you do this make sure that you were in the color that we found earlier that was located on the tv you need to be in that specific color to read these charts the right way so make sure mine was red earlier in the video make sure that you are on your specific color filter once you are in your color filter you can go around the map and you can find your ingredients for this i'm going to be making my racing fuel plus my quarter so pick up your ingredient and bring it on over to the table hold square and you will be able to place it on the table itself my next one is going to be quarters so i'm going to go find my quarters and then i'm going to bring them into this room and place them down right here after that you will need a specific number combination that we will be getting from the equation on the back wall in here and what you want to do is you want to go around the map and find these charts right here and then you want to find the chart that has the ingredient that you just placed down so on this chart i just place quarters and so for example with quarters you guys will notice the top of my number that we found earlier on the equation when we came in here with the specific color filter the top diamond and then the left diamond are what we're going to be using so the top diamond is eight and then the left diamond is five for quarters and all you want to do is add them together after you have that number added together it's going to be a total of 13 for my quarters so you have 13 for that and then you want to do this with the other ingredient as well so my second ingredient that i placed on the table is racing fuel you have to find the chart that has your ingredient. So my combination for racing fuel is seven and one because it is the diamond on the left and the diamond on the top, which we found earlier. So all you wanna do is add those together. So I have eight and then I have 13 and then I subtract two, which is that circle number that we also found earlier in the video. So once you have that, you will have your total sum that we will need to put into the computer to actually acquire the ingredient. So just go around the map, find those charts, and then add up those diamonds that we found earlier, which is from whenever we had to find the equal sign with the line through it, and then you had to find the one that was not with the line through it. That's how you find that circle number, which we will be subtracting from the equation of the two sums. So then once you have that, come back into the garage again and then you can input it into this computer so my number was 19 if you have the ingredients on the table you're in your right color filter and you put in the right number you will get your compound which is going to be on the right and that's just how to make one little compound you have to make the end game compound which is all of the little compounds mixed together so you're going to be doing this a lot 
So after that, I'm gonna show you another example. So in this one, I'm going to be making vodka and pennies. So just go around the map. You wanna find your ingredients first and make sure you're in your right color filter, which we did earlier in the video, and then come over to the table and place that ingredient down. So my, my second ingredient is going to be vodka, so I'm gonna place that on the table. And then after you've placed it, you wanna go around the map, you wanna find your chart. There are six of these around the map. So here is mine for pennies. Pennies is on this, so I add up the two numbers. And then I'm going to go around the map, find vodka. I'm going to add up those two numbers from the diamonds. And I'm going to subtract my circle number from the equal sign with the line through it earlier in the video. And then I'm going to input that number into this little computer right here and hold square to increase to do the reaction. And it's going to put the compound on the right side of the table. You're going to want to continue to do this until you get your end game compound, which is from earlier, the very first chart in the video that I showed you guys. You're going to want to shoot for that, which is from the radio with the very first end game compound that we need this is the only thing that you need once you have the one compound from the radio you will be able to move on and from here all you're going to want to do is go and hold square on nuke you can also go back into normal color if you want from here and then make sure that you are set up as well because we will be having a boss fight coming up in the next video also make sure that you actually place this down so what you want to do is you want to grab your end game compound and then you want to turn around and you want to go to the nuke and then you can just put the ingredient right into that nuke itself before you can do this boss fight you will also need the safe number which is on an earlier easter egg step and you also want to go back to elvira and you want to give her those pages that we found in this video as well for her spell book but once you have all that done you can come back over to the new cold square. All players will need to be here to do this and you will be able to move on to the boss fight. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully it's not too confusing. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Until next time, I'll see you guys later with the last step of this Easter egg. Peace.